Multicultural Community Banking was established to ensure that we get a full understanding of the needs of the multicultural communities and it's very much in line uh, with the values of the Commonwealth Bank. We're in the process of uh, implementing a national model. We've currently um, have established relationships with and also strategic partnership with the um, Victorian Multicultural Commission. We've also established a strategic partnership with Multicultural New South Wales as well as the Queensland Government and uh, we are on an ongoing basis looking at opportunities, how we can continue to form these relationships to support the communities as well as enhancing the social cohesion in our uh, communities. This is a very exciting partnership between the Commonwealth Bank of Australia and the Australian Multicultural Foundation because not only promotes uh, diversity but also it's an opportunity to demonstrate how both uh, an NGO and the community sector can work with the corporate sector. It's really important to be able to uh, develop a whole range of products that we are now engaged with the Commonwealth Bank, whether it be in education, cross-cultural training and, and diversity. The Commonwealth Bank uh, today is one of those banks that not only talk about diversity, but they actually do it. In Australia, we come from more than 250 countries, we speak more than 200 languages, we actually practice more than 135 faiths. When you look at the CBA's staff, it is so diverse, not only in gender, but also in, in language and in culture. And that is very much reflective of what Australia is today, which is a multicultural Australia. We have a long-standing commitment to the Muslim community and I've got to say how privileged and proud uh, I was today to meet Michael and Nora Shami. We were able to assist this family on their journey through life when they first came to Australia and they continue to be one of our biggest advocates. I come to Australia in 1963 from Beirut. I come in 1967. When I come to Australia, I'm only 16. I want opportunity, I want to go somewhere to have a better life. I come with only five pounds in, in the pocket. They came from Lebanon at a young age. Their English was only very minimal. I've been in Australia for 54 years and I've been with the bank at least 52 years. I'm the first one from my family to come to Australia. After one and a half years, I saved some money and I want to buy a house. Commerce Bank, they gave me the money, I bought the house. So from that time, I have uh, I built a very good relationship with one of the managers in uh, Commonwealth Bank in Bankstown. Dad helped support migrate to Australia. They lived with us for a period of time. I brought six brothers to Australia and one sister. They used to come stay in my house. My brother-in-law lived with us. And after one month, his sister come in with the three children and her husband lived with us. After his another son come in and his auntie son come in, I look after him like my own family. Dad would ensure that they wouldn't leave his house until they had a deposit. He'd go down to the local branch, help them get a loan, and then help them to be able to purchase a property. So they used to come to me to guide them, to tell them what to do. And one of the things, the most important thing, is like to take them to the bank. To take them to the bank because they want to build their future here. He's definitely an advocate for the Commonwealth Bank. Um, he's very proud that his children work for the Commonwealth Bank and him being so well respected within the community, people put a lot of trust in him. So having that um, community engagement with Dad and that respect and trust that they have with him, it's so vital. I've been with the charity Bed Zakat since 1995. And that charity, it's a look after the orphanage. I feel very humble because I'm doing something to help somebody. Four out of every 10 Australians that are born overseas currently bank with the Commonwealth Bank. And it's really critical for us to get to know that community, understand that community, and see how we can actually support those communities.